Hi viewers, welcome back to HVC Simplified and in this video we are going to understand psychometric chart in details. This is part 2. If you are watching this video for the first time, I recommend you to watch the part 1 before watching this video which will help us understand the part 2 in continuation. So let us begin with the part 2 which is psychometric chart. The name psychometric is given to the study of the properties of air water vapor mixture. Atmospheric air is considered to be a mixture of dry air and water vapor. Psychometric chart. This is the representation of a psychometric chart where you can see multiple lines and values on them. So we will understand all these properties one by one. Before we understand this, these properties, this is just a specific simplification of what we are doing. The arrows represent here when we are moving from the psychometric chart in any directions. So the first thing which we do in any psychometric chart we are these properties which is dehumidification, heating and dehumidification, sensible heating, heating and humidification, humidification, cooling and humidification, sensible cooling, cooling and humidification. The, one of the widely used or common practice is cooling and dehumidification for hot and humid climate. So when you go on the psychometric chart from top to bottom on the left hand side downwards it is cooling and dehumidification. Dry bulb temperature. Lines on the dry bulb temperatures runs vertical to the psychometric chart. Wet bulb temperature. Wet bulb temperature lines runs diagonally across the chart. Relative humidity. Another essential line is relative humidity which is an arc line on the represented psychometric chart where here you can find the relative humidity in percentages. Humidity ratio. The vertical axis represents the water vapor in the air and is commonly referred to as the humidity ratio. The horizontal line represents a constant amount of water vapor in the air. This horizontal line on the word psychometric chart represents humidity ratio. Enthalpy. The red line indicates the end on the enthalpy chart. The specific volume. The maroon line represents the specific volume. The green line. Vapor pressure. The green line represents the vapor pressure on the chart. So let us understand by using few examples of summer design condition for example let us assume that the summer design conditions are 95 degree fahrenheit as a dry bulb temperature and 75 degree fahrenheit wet bulb temperature the other values can be determined by using the two known parameters the basic concept of psychometric chart is to understand or determine the parameters by using any two given parameters so if you have any two parameters known, then rest of the parameters can be determined on the psychometric chart. So let's understand and find out the relative humidity and the dew point temperature on the psychometric chart by using 95 as the dry bulb and 75 Fahrenheit as your wet bulb. Points of intersection on psychometric chart. The bottom line and the vertical line with the bottom represents the dipole temperature as we have seen. So the dipole temperature at 95 intersects with the wet bulb temperature at 78 degrees Fahrenheit. So this will be your point of intersection. So at this point of intersection, you can say your relative humidity is 
somewhere around 50% and to be exact or precise which is 47.3% 71.85 is to your dew point when you go on the left hand side this is your absolute humidity or your dew point temperature which means at 75.8 degree temperature Fahrenheit the condensation will start end of part 2